right, so let's look at the connection between the one, two, or the one, two, three. You know, when you look at movement, whether it's a knife or it's an empty hand or anything else, an individual or a training method is only as good as the foundation that it's built on. So the more you can correlate, the more you can relate training movement to concepts that are natural and instinctual and common sense so you don't have to process or think about it or be you know, extremely technically efficient and stylized. You're just like, okay, when he hits me in the head with number one, wow, what's my biggest opening? Well, my low base is. So he can hit one and then go to two immediately. And again, so one, two, one, two. Well, I, I got to respond to that. He can go right back to one. Boom. You know, so he, it, it becomes an issue of action versus reaction. To neutralize that is an issue of cutting the line. So when he strikes one, if he initiates it first before me, I have to cut the line. Meaning he's got this much more distance to travel. And my line, strike me one, is really negated right there. When he targets two, I, I'm targeting right there again so i'm cutting the line so empty hand is even more of an issue with that so i'm going to lay my staff down and we'll talk about here one two again so one two again the body mechanics one two one two one two well just to change that up we go one two one one two one just like that and one two one so when he strikes me one two one two i'm already here there's my one you see, I've got no choice but to bridge on this. Again, training with the weapon gives you at least line familiarization. I know right there where he's at. He can't, uh, and body mechanics and so on and so forth. He's got to start a body commitment in order to, to, to reach me or to activate his weapon power. If I can get inside the arc, and that's the key. Or he strikes me one and I'm outside the arc. Now... Uh, when he tries to reverse it, he's in a negative, negative position. So distance and timing. Jesse said that Bruce could bridge six feet. Well, a staff is at least three and a half feet, four feet. So, you know, if Bruce Lee can bridge six, old, you know, screwed up <laughs> Mr. Warden should be able to bridge three and a half feet. So I look at it from there. There again, perceptual speed, reactionary speed, reading the intent, first of all, why am I standing next to this guy and he's got a rake or a shovel and I've pissed him off? You know, I mean, common sense, duh. But in a pool hall, that's potential. You know, there again in a conflict where you just don't know what's going on, that could be just a two by four. Got a hell of a knot on the back of my neck from a two by four when I was working the door and I took somebody out. When I brought somebody back out, that guy had already armed himself with a two by four. Hey, they're all over the place in alleys and dumpsters. You know, that's the natural weapon. And that's that's really the issue of why you learn something. So here we go, back to body mechanics. When we look at number one, if I just address this with the staff with the empty hand, and then number two, uh, this ain't gonna stop it. I'm not gonna have the power. So a lot of times I'm one, and then I'm in here, I'm gonna bridge it this way so I can check this and stop this. But that's if I'm outside that range. So if I can close on one, I'm one, see I'm two, Here's my two, same body mechanics. As he uh, initiates a target three, there's my three. As he initiates a target four, there's my four. Okay? So anywhere along there, I should be negating and neutralizing and upsetting. So as he goes to one, I'm going one. As he goes to two, bang, I'm already right there. That's already a lock and a control. Or at least an out balance, and hey, there's a nice step, ah. okay, you know, or there's an ankle. Oh man, that would be really bad for Belton. It doesn't take a lot to negate. So, those are basic concepts of cutting that line. And I want to pick up the staff to we'll address passing, and then we can go back to the knife line. So, Doctor, can you? Yes, uh, sir. Oh. Are you just some sort of like ninja that you knew I was going to hit the other side, or? Can you explain, and I know oh, this because you, you, oh, you've talked about this. Sure, sure. Why am, what, what, what's drawing me to go to the other side? Okay. Well, of course, if you strike me one and you hit a barrier, yeah. what's your only option? You know, it could be the high, it could be a high strike because yeah. you're a headhunter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hit high. So now I'm shielding. I mean, 
I've taken pretty powerful Muay Thai kicks off of this these forearms, and so I'm, now I'm here in negating, I'm neutralizing. So as he strikes one, I'm closing, and then as he strikes wherever you're going, see, now in this case, I'm, I'm just here in shielding. So I can even bind inside, and if he's bound to the weapon, now I'm going to utilize the weapon, or I'm going to control from there, body shot, and knee spike, or whatever, go to the guillotine or cross face, and just basically try to screw him up. If I'm committed, I've got to do as much damage as possible. Or do the least amount of damage and get the heck out of there. Okay? All right. So, so yeah, yeah. Question. Then, I want to bring that up because in seminars you say, well, what's the obvious one that he's going to yeah, go to next? Sure. Another thing, too, is for the fighters out there, and the two guys behind the camera, they're fighters. Um, you, notice you're, you time that reaction. It's not that you're faster than me. It's more that you're reading something. Yeah, yeah perceptual speed in there again reactionary timing so let's go back to that he goes to one well because of the position of his hand it really a body shot is 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 clean as fastest line to go okay mm -hmm. so from there but the wood siege bone that makes sense too if he can take out the knee he's in i'm in more trouble so line familiarization hand position you got a hand up and i throw this and his hands down i got to change the trajectory of that arm in order to target what I want to target. So if your hands are up here, like Muay Thai, and you strike me one, well, see now, your next shot should be a, probably a head shot or, you know, or a rib shot, you know, bang. So however you perceive that, but body alignment, perceptual speed, then reactionary speed, neutralize his physical action, I've got to bridge the gap and close and cut the line. So it's really about destroying that motivation, all right? So hopefully that's a good, good little, you know, sequence right there. We'll cut and come back.